been a while. Um, I think I actually still have to upload my second part of the makeup show haul video. Um, I have to like do some tweaking with it because some stuff kind of was weird so that's why it's taking so long. Sorry about that. Um, but I wanted to kind of just do a quick video today with some products that I've picked up recently. Um, and I've got some really good stuff and some stuff that I was not crazy about at all. They're all drugstore products. Um, everything is either NYX, Rimmel, or ELF. Those are kind of my three go-to drugstore product. Um, I thought Rimmel was cruelty free and that's why that's been one of my go-to's but now I think I found out they're actually not so that sucks. I'm probably not going to be buying any more Rimmel but that's okay because the products I have today I didn't really like from them. So anyway, um, I guess I'll start off with what I didn't like and kind of just do a quick run through of why these products may work for you but this is just kind of why they didn't work for me. So the first one, this is a big bummer, um, the e.l.f. Cream Eyeliner. And I got it in, I think it's just black, yeah, it's just black. And it's just like this little pot of eyeliner and I was really excited about it. I thought it was gonna be really great. Um, but I just, I've tried this stuff multiple times with multiple different brushes and I just cannot get it to work for me. Um, I bought it so that I can do a wing with a gel eyeliner because um, I've always heard that people have really good experiences with that and I wanted to give it a try. It was only $3 so that's good. Um, I will say when it's like just over the, like just over my eyelid, it wasn't that bad. But once I tried to like build a wing with it, I couldn't, it doesn't like build on top of, <laughs> I'm trying to think of how to explain this. So like if you do one little stroke and you go back to do a second stroke, it like doesn't build on top, it just kind of like smears it. It just kind of like moves the first stroke that you did, so then there's like no product there. So there's just really no like way to build it, and I was so bummed about that. Um, if you've had good experience with this, definitely let me in the, know in the comments, because maybe I'm just using it wrong, because I have heard a lot of people love this stuff. So for real, like if you like this, tell me how you use it and tell me why, so that maybe I can I don't know, get this stuff to work for me. So that's kind of my first thing that I wasn't crazy about. Um, next up is this e.l.f. Shadow Lock Eyelid Primer in the color Pearl. Now I am obsessed with the e.l.f. primer. It looks just like this, um, but the clear one, the tube is actually like a, like a peachy, fleshy color. Um, but this one, it's, and I should have known this going into it since it says Pearl, but it like has little sparkles in it. Um, so I just feel like it's, I don't know, like I put it on my eyelid and I feel like I'm already starting out with like kind of a sparkly eyelid and I don't always want to do that. And I usually like to put it, you know, all the way up to my brow bone, like on my whole lid. And I just feel like it kind of starts out my eye look with a sparkle and I don't necessarily always want that. So, um, I will say that it still works great as a primer. Um, I don't have any problems with creasing or anything with this. And I guess if you were going to do like a super shimmery look, it would be fine. But it's just the fact that I know I can get the clear option. It's just annoying for me to have to deal with this like sparkly stuff. So probably going to keep using it. It's only like $2, but next time I'll definitely buy the one that I got before the clear one. Um, Next up is this Rummel London Kate Mascara. Oh, it's Scandalized Mascara by Kate Moss. And I got it in the color I Rock Jet Black. Um, to be honest with you, this like was totally, like I was looking for mascara and I was like, well, I'll try something different than what I usually get. And I bought this one and honestly I got it because Kate Moss was on it and I know that's so stupid, but their stupid marketing totally worked on me and I bought it and I hate it. Um, and honestly, the reason I hate it is because of this crazy brush. Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to like move it. <laughs> so, I mean, I could see the picture of the brush on the package when I bought it, but I guess I just didn't think about like how big it is. And I have pretty big eyes and pretty big lashes, but even for me, like I just felt like I could not control this because it's just like this weird shape and I'm like trying to get it and I can't get it close to my eye. And then when I try to dip it around, it like gets on my lid it's just so messy um i don't even like have anything to say about the formula because trying to get it on is so annoying that i like can't even pay attention to like how well it works so i would not recommend this um if you're gonna get a rimmel mascara my go-to is the glam eyes it's in like a black and like pinkish packaging i should have brought it but i didn't 
Um, it's been my go-to for a while, except now they're not cruelty-free, so I think I have to find another mascara, which I'm really sad about because I love, love, love that stuff. The last thing is from Rimmel, and I'm kind of torn on this. So this is their Provoca Lips 16-hour kiss-proof lip color. I will say, that's what I'm wearing right now. You can probably see it. It's like a, this color is I'll Call You, zero, zero, or I'm sorry, 200 zero, zero, I'll Call You. Um, and it's just like a really nice, like almost a neutral, but it's like a little bit more on the pink side. And it is really pretty. And it's lasted, I mean, I put this on several hours ago and since then I've eaten, I ate a bunch of pizza rolls and drank some Coke and it still looks pretty good. So I will say, in that respect, it's great. I just do not like the texture. Um, so it's like a two-step thing, which I didn't really know. I bought it online, I didn't really know that. So first you do this one, but it's like, I don't know if you can hear it. My husband's spray painting outside, so you can hear like the click. Anyway, like it's so runny and glossy when you first put this on. Um, and then it like dries really fast. And then you use this second step, which is a clear, and it's called step two, lock and shine. I will say it smells really nice, I like that, but it just, I don't know, like when you put this stuff, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like it tries to mattify it, um, which I guess it sort of does, and it just leaves your lips like, like a little sticky, but also dry. I know that doesn't make any sense, but that's kind of why I don't like this stuff. I just don't like the texture. I don't really wear lip glosses a lot, and if I do, like, I want it to be glossy, and I want it to be something that I can just easily apply and go. Like, I love the NYX uh, lip butters because, I think that's what they're called, lip butter gloss, I don't know. Um, and I like them in, like, the lighter colors, so then I can just, like, throw it on and walk out the door. But this one, it's, like, so dark and so, like, it stays on so well, which is a good thing, but at the same time, I feel like I have to really clean it up. Like, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but I kind of, like, didn't do a great job applying it because it's hard to, like, you know, apply something perfectly with this kind of um, applicator. And I got outside the line a little bit, and I immediately went to try to, like, correct it, like, kind of with my fingernail, and it, like, stained my skin immediately. So then I'm, you know, if I wanted to really make it look nice, I would have to go and get some concealer and a brush, and I just, if I'm wearing a lip gloss, that's not what I'm all about. So for me, this is not what I want to do. I guess if you are more of a lip gloss, like, stay, ugh, if you are a lip gloss person, and you want one with like really good staying power and you don't mind the texture of it, then this might be a good product for you. But for me, I'm not a fan. I'll probably keep it just because I don't want to return it. And I don't know, just as like a backup, it might be nice to have in my purse, but that's definitely won't be buying this anymore. So now I've got a couple really good products to share with you that I'm so excited about. Um, and two of these are things that I've been wanting to try forever, and one of them was just an impulse buy gone very, very right. So this first one, I don't think I've shared this with you guys, but this is my new absolute favorite brush. Blush. Absolute favorite blush. And it's just e.l.f. blush in the color Glow. And I know that this is not going to work for all skin tones. It's like a super pale peachy pink. Um, but for people who are fair skin like me, this is an amazing blush. Um, because hopefully you can see that. It's just like this beautiful, like iridescent kind of like pinky color. I mean, I can even like put a tiny bit on. I have it on, but it's probably like kind of rubbed off. That's like the only bad thing is this is like a super cheap blush. So it's not gonna have like the best staying power. I wanna say it was a dollar, but it might've been, I would say $3 at the most. I'm pretty sure it's not more than $3. Um, it comes with a little uh, brush, but I don't use those. I use like a big fluffy blush brush. So this has been like my everyday blush for summer because I love it because I can just throw it on um, and not have to worry about it. So anyway, if you're looking for, if you're, you know, fair skin and you're looking for a really nice shiny blush, this is going to be good for you. And like I said, it's super cheap. They do have some other colors, I think, but, you know, I just happened to grab this one and I'm obsessed with it. The next thing I've been wanting to try, but it's like sold out all the time, so I finally got it online. And it's the NYX Wonder Stick. It's a highlight and contour. I know that contouring is like not cool anymore, but I don't care. I still like to do it. Um, this is in the color light slash medium. It's the lightest color that they have. 
Um, so it's two-sided. I'm going to get both sides out so you can see. So it has a contouring side, which is darker, and then a highlight side, which is like super light. If I'm being honest, I haven't even used the highlight side yet because I have just been using the contour. The highlight looks kind of like a concealer. It's like a little bit shiny, but honestly, if I was going to use this as a highlighter, I would probably then go back over it with like a shimmery powder. But I love this contouring stick. Um, I kind of like swatch it a little bit so you can see. So it looks like super dark on my skin. And when I got it, I was like, God oh, crap, this isn't going to work. But I love it. And I don't know, I didn't even check to see if you could see it. And I kind of did like really subtle today because I can't, I don't want to do like a Kardashian contour every day. But um, I love it. I just can like take this little guy and just like apply it here and just like all my, oh crap. Well, there you go. Now you can kind of see what it looks like on. I just like draw it a little bit here, here on my nose. That's it. Then I just take my little beauty blender and just dab, 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 blend it in, blend it in, check. Sometimes I'll go back a second time over it. Um, you know, you can then build on top of that with powder if you wanted some more dimension. But this is just like a really nice intro to contouring. Like I've had a really hard time finding contouring products that work for me or I guess that I'm like able to do well with. So this was just really nice and I love that it's like, you know, so compact and travel friendly. So this is like a great, especially like a summer contouring product. And this last thing is something that, again, I've been wanting to try and I'm really loving it. And it's especially great for summer. Um, and it's this NYX color correcting cream, CC cream in green. Um, I have super red toned skin, especially on my face. Like my face is pretty acne prone even though I'm like an adult now I still have acne all over my skin which is awesome um, but anyway this stuff I don't really know how it works like it says green pigment beads transform into a naturally nude lightweight foundation upon contact with skin neutralizing redness and resulting in a fresh revived complexion so I'll kind of like swatch it a little bit so you can see how it comes out of the tube I don't know if you can see that but I mean it's green like it's like a light green but then as you start to rub it in and even like on my hand I can see it there's there's tiny little beads and they start to turn into like a a fleshy color um, now obviously this is not going to give you like a a super um, super full coverage but I love this especially for summer because if you're like me and you like are not comfortable going out without any makeup on, this is a really nice alternative to like a normal foundation. And uh, you can just throw this on to kind of hide the redness and even your skin tone a little bit. Uh, me personally, I like to do this and then still do a normal under eye concealer. Set the whole thing with powder. Um, that would be my like big recommendation, I guess, is still make sure you set this with powder. Because for me, if I don't, like if I wear a BB cream and I don't set it with anything, it's gonna rub off. like very very quickly but if you set it with powder it is gonna like stay on a little bit longer than normal so just get a translucent powder and put it all over like you would normally do so anyway those are my I guess yays and nays um, for recent products that I've purchased and I think that's about all I've got for you guys today so if you liked this video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you want to subscribe that's even better well, thanks so much, and I will see you next time.